All right, so I skipped Elite Series 104, but I am not skipping 105 because today I am looking at the new, for the first time in the line, the big booty daddy himself, Scott Steiner. And we do see a new style of packaging with an image of the wrestler on the front, same image on the side, and then we get another image on the back along with some information and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. And speaking of the packaging, as I said, it's brand new. Now, I believe the top picks was the first wave to utilize this packaging. I did not buy that set. So, if you're wondering what are my thoughts on this new packaging, um, well, I'm gonna start with the positive and graphically, from an artistic standpoint, it looks neat. I do like the image of the wrestler on the front, off to the side like that with that diagonal slash. It's got a big fat WWE logo at the bottom. Um, but as far as the positives, ah, that's pretty much it because I'm gonna be honest, I, I really hate this packaging. I'm not a fan of covering up the wrestler. I like the older one where we saw the entire wrestler along with all the accessories through that plastic window. I mean, at the very least, it's not fully covered. The lower half of the legs are covered, so you do see everything above the knees. So it's not as bad as the Hasbro windowless packaging that was terrible. So I'm hoping Mattel goes back to the older style where we see the entire wrestler. Again, not the worst thing in the world. It's not the end of the world, just... I don't like it, but I'm not a mint on card collector. I'm going to open this up, so it doesn't matter. But before I do open this up, you fine folks have been acknowledged. And with all that being said, let's open this up and take a closer look at Scott Steiner. Here we have Big Papa Pump out of the packaging, and we see all the details that are on the figure, and he comes with a few accessories that include... He comes with some gripping hands, and that's it as far as extra hands. Would have been nice if he came with some open ones, so that way you could pose him doing push-ups. It's not a deal breaker, but it would have been nice. He comes with his chain mail headpiece, which looks really nice. Fits very well on Scott, it looks good on him. And then taking that off, it's got some pretty good sculpted details on there. So it definitely looks like chains, so I like how that looks. It's good that we get this with Scott because it is an essential accessory to his persona. And then we get a pair of black sunglasses to finish off his look. And speaking of look, the head sculpt looks really good. I think Mattel did a great job nailing the likeness to Scott Steiner. The sculpting on the face is really good. The beard looks good. Not painted perfectly. The black part should have gone a little bit further down, but it's an easy fix. It's not a big deal. The lips look good. The nose look good. The eyes are painted well for the most part. It looks a little bit off-center on mine. Same thing with the eyebrows. Yeah, I think now that I look at it a little more, it's not exactly centered, but it's not terribly noticeable. I have seen much worse, so I'm not that bothered by this. The sculpting of the hair up here looks pretty good. Paint not that great. Looks like it needs a little bit more of a yellow paint right there. Aside from that, I like how the head looks. Definitely happy with how this turned out for the most part. Look at the upper body. I think it looks fine for an elite Scott Steiner. Probably could have been a little bit bigger, but I think it fits well enough with the rest of the body. Now, this is one figure, one wrestler that I think would really benefit from that massive ultimate body that we see. That actually doesn't really work with a lot of the wrestlers that Mattel has picked out, especially that upcoming Kurt Angle. But I think with a Scott Steiner, that would look great. But for what we get here with an elite, I think it looks fine. Looking at the arms, they are massive massive as they should be actually i don't know if these are brand new i would assume just because of this bulging bicep i mean what other wrestler would benefit from having a ridiculous looking arm like that other than scott steiner because he certainly lived up to the moniker of genetic freak freakzilla back in the day so I think these arms will work out really well for him, so that is great. And you know what else looks great are these tights, at least from the front and the side, because we will see uh, the back really soon, and yeah, we'll get to that part. Paint looks pretty good on the side logos. Some minor sloppiness here and there, very minor though. For the most part, does look good. It looks pretty clean. Looking on the other side, yeah, again, just some minor imperfections. That's to be expected. These figures aren't going to look perfect with the paint applications. Now with that being said, I don't expect perfection, but I at least expect something to look good, and this does not look good. Holy cow, what the hell happened here? Oh my goodness, this certainly looks freakish. Yeah, this this is a complete uh, fail. I am going to assume this is not a widespread thing. This is probably just mine, and I got unlucky with this figure. So as much as this sucks, as much as I don't like this, I'm not going to really dock at any points or 
this isn't going to really hurt the overall idea of this figure for me because I'm going to assume that this is not the case with everyone else's, and it's just unfortunately mine. But yeah, from what we see, the letter F is, well, half of the letter is missing. The R, the E, and the A look pretty good. The K looks fine. The Z, I, I don't know it's, what's happening with the Z. It's all the way up here. Part of the I is missing. Part of the first L is missing. Bigger chunk of the second L is missing. And the leg of the A is missing. So that sucks. Again, hopefully it's just mine, and yours looks much better than this. I might end up just getting a second one maybe I might make this into an, an NWO Steiner but in the meantime he'll have to do as my WWE version all right bottom half of the leg looks pretty good and he's got some basic standard black boots all right so the paint on his butt was disappointing so let's see if the articulation isn't disappointing the head goes really high up that's actually pretty good that far down so great range there can turn side to side and tilt very well shoulder goes that high up Rotates all the way around. There is a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. That has a pretty good range despite this bicep being massive. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. He crunches that far forward. Actually, he doesn't. Huh. Oh, there you go. He crunches that far forward. Goes that far back. A frozen... Oh, there we go. Is able to make the waist swivel, so that's good. Legs go that far out. That high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and he's got, well, he barely has an ankle pivot. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, I did not pick up any figure from Series 104, so I can't compare him with Rick Steiner, even though I actually saw Rick Steiner at Walmart yesterday, really should have picked that up, but... Here he is next to Reign of Terror Triple H. Pretty much really the only meaningful feud of his run when he returned from WWE. And then if you want to make this into an NWO Scott Steiner, here he is next to Hollywood Hogan and Kevin Nash. In fact, let's see if this shirt will fit on that Scott Steiner. It's probably going to be a little too big. Just see how it looks. And actually, that's not big at all. It fits perfectly on Scott. So if you want to make your own NWO version, well, here you go. And he looks pretty good. All right, so this is a bit tough for me because I do feel disappointed in mine because that QC issue on the back of his tights on his butt is really, really bad. This is probably the worst paint application I've seen on a WWE figure, at least one of mine, in a very long time. So it would be easy for me to hate on this and not recommend it. However, these are mass-produced figures. This is bound to happen at some point. There's always going to be imperfections, and these things are not going to look perfect, especially with the paint apps. So, so long as this is not a widespread thing, and it's just mine, which is what I'm assuming, I can't really hate on the figure for that. I can hate on mine. I can hate this one, but not all of them. So, I'm probably going to end up buying a second one. Hopefully, I won't have bad paint like that. So, I'm going to judge this figure on the basis of everything else aside from my... QC problem. And in that regard, I would definitely recommend this because aside from mine having QC issues, this is a fantastic looking figure. I like the arms, the chainmail, the glasses really make this figure look amazing on top of the fact that the head sculpt looks really, really good. It's nice to finally have a Scott Steiner, especially a big Papa Pump version. Now, I would love to see a WCW one, but this one's pretty cool as well. So if you're a fan of this time period of wrestling, of course you're going to want to buy this. Because in my opinion, there really aren't any issues with the figure itself. It's just mine that has the issue. So in that case, I definitely recommend this. I say add this to your collection. However, don't add mine because, yeah, mine sucks. But what doesn't suck is hitting that like button and subscribing. If you want to see more wrestling figure reviews, click on the card at the end of the video. And I'll see you next time.